Hey everyone, Kaiser. Welcome back to Pride 2020. Let's move on to the next prize, shall we? A job mediocrely done. Marge girl, you get over here, queen. And where's that blob and address husband of yours? I'm looking forward to leaving her makeup imprinted in the dirt. Well, that's the thing. Uh, Homer didn't actually understand this was a race which would require him to actually use his own body because that would be impossible. He thought a pink slip was the title to his car like in the old racing movies. And so, I wanted to ask you if there was any way you would consider not taking a car if you win? Honey, I didn't hear a word you said. The race is starting, girl. And they're off, tucked in out of the gates. These dazzling ladies have inspired me to say for the first time a resounding, Yes, Queen! Hey, it's what's her face! I see you're checking out the merchandise. Glamis on Marge! I'm only missing one character. I think they're available in this update, actually. A blurry sequence on boards. These dames are both agile and fast. When at all, Mars Simpson seems to be floundering, pulling up the rear. Bobby Streisman is pulling out to take the lead. Oh, Sideshow Melanie has blown a heel and tossed a wig. But what's this? The mysterious Whalen is pulling out to take the lead. The mysterious Whalen has won the race. Out of breath. Uh, I tried, homie, but these girls are way better at navigating heels than I am. Honey, it's okay. We don't need a car that much. The silver lining may be a lot of more walking in our future. That's good exercise. Now I want the car. Of course you do. Perhaps you might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself next time. Okay. However, because I do like my Marge, I am willing to consider letting you off the hook if you would like to do some work in the club. And of course, since this would be in the club, you would need to be in full drag, makeup, wig, six inch pumps. Okay, how can it be walking in six inch heels anyway? I don't know, you're asking the wrong person. Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. Hey, we got a voice. I'm starting to make some real money with this Tupperware. I know you did, Miss Moneybag. You kind of got that wrong, but yes, I do know, and I feel good about myself. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's right. What do they say? You know that thing. You eat it for breakfast, but you don't eat it, but you feel it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, I got it. You feel an oat. Feel your oats? Yes, I am feeling my oats. What the hell are they talking about? I am actually confused. Feel her oats? Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. What are they supposed to be saying? It's not feel her oats, obviously. Oh, let's put tops on bottoms. I'm really good at this. I feel like an incredibly powerful woman, like I could do anything. Yes, you can. You have nerves of styrofoam. Always say your voice and don't let the cat eat your tongue. He's not very good at those expressions, is he? Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. Speaking to yourself, should I get the bath soap? No, nah, it's too expensive. But why not? Girl will take care of herself. Snap. Giggles. Good gracious, Marge. Are you going to a costume party as a streetwalker, or did you forget your dress? Oh, hello, Helen. I just worry about your children. My children understand fashion, although it is clear you are somewhat challenged in that area. I'm tasteful and modest. You're tasteful and modest and everyone else is drab and paunchy. I was trying to be helpful, but you are hopeless. Oh yeah? Well, take a good look at this. Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. It's a 24 hour quest, you son of a gun, Marge, you're killing me. I work it. I'm assuming there's going to be Tupperware involved. Let's put tops on bottoms. I mean, that is what happens in the episode. 
She is working it. What what is going on here? Why why is that person dressed up as Homer? Who is that? There is one more way to kill a man, but it is as intricate and precise as a well played game of chess. Ah oh, yeah, that's the one with the hellfish. When they're trying to kill Grandpa for the key. Boy, that takes me back. I'm really good at this. Get a load of you, girl. She's gonna bring the house down. How did she do that? Because she has IT, girl. Plus, she made a lot of money selling that plastic crap. Tupperware? Yeah, she's been raking it in. People love to put stuff in stuff, you know? Hmm, interesting. Tupperware. I could easily do that. Hello Lovejoy is gonna become a drag queen. Let me assure you, the lids match the tops. Bart, one was at the church, so please promise me that you won't throw, spit, shoot, belt, say loudly or softly anything during the service. Hehe, <laughs> you forgot something. Did I? Oh I did, thank you. Both physically and mentally. Wow mom, you're good. God wants us to be fruitful, but, and this is a big but for God, if we cut the fruit into pieces and can't eat it all, he wants us to put away our leftovers and not be wasteful. He likes durable plastic and loves a perfect seal, so go and be with God. Oh, and Helen's got a great assortment of Tupperware set up in front of the church, if you should happen to be interested in that type of thing. It's a disgrace to the pulpit, Helen, that you used your husband to help you sell Tupperware. Shame, shame. The church will receive a donation from my sizable income. I'm making a fortune here. You didn't do anything. Your husband did. I'm the only self-made Tupperware queen up in this town and you know us. Call meeting with her glamazons? Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out. Maybe the both are going to get kicked out. Let's put tops on bottoms. Of the Tupperware thing. Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. I did my best to remain fabulous under the circumstances, but she really did pretty much corner the whole market. It's over for me. Well, with that attitude. What's that supposed to mean? It means get a grip. Now come on, show me how ferocious you can be. It looks like that pep talk might work. Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. And it looks like I can see the second animation. Fly! I always take the bad pancake. Now I'm really curious about that animation. I remember it from the episode. It's just, how are they going to pull it off in this game? I'm really good at this. Marge, you get down on yourself too easy. It's time to buck up, Brenda. Dust off your head and saddle your pony. Right, partner? Oh, Julio, even you can't cheer me up. Marge, this is the time for you to use a remote control and change the channel to you. You gotta find your inner unicorn snot and blow it into the hanky of your life. You need to rise up like a Phoenix, Arizona. But how in the world will I ever do that? I think I may have the answer to your little problem. Is that where the flying comes in? The confidence? Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. Okay then, Marge, are you willing and able to believe at all times that you are supremely fabulous, capable, and above all, that you are above all? Yes, Sephras, your majesty. Alright. I was really caught off by the dialogue. Marge, fly? Let me assure you, the lids match the tubs. Second and final animation? Fly, Marge. Fly to the moon and back. Let's put tops on bottoms. Where are you going? She's not going to any of the buildings in the pride area. I'm gonna go with the Simpsons house. She disappeared. Where'd you go? Marge? She teleported, but where is to teleporting? To? 
I found her! What in the heck is she doing way over here? It makes sense. Because this is extremely accurate. Oh, it's a pageant stage. I really, really like that. I'm really good at this. Look at Marge go. She is so divine, so spectacular, that she has taken to the sky. This queen of both large and small containers, their tops, and their bottoms. Who is mesmerizingly skilled at merging the two with her dazzling array of Tupperware that can be purchased right here in the club. Don't miss out. Get this while you still can, ladies. That felt amazing. You've been so good to me. Practically the entire club is buying my Tupperware. It truly is useful stuff for us girls. I mean, we've got pins, powders, brushes, lipsticks, bra fillers, tuck tape. Where are we going to put all this stuff? So Margie's back on top, selling that Tupperware. I love the fact that she had a voice. I love both of the animations because they were very accurate to the episode. Although I do like the second one better, the flying one. That one was fantastic. Outside of that, I'll see you with the final prize and the 2020 Pride updates, Pride Homer, in the near future. So thank you very so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.